spine. So it's going to be the same setup for the patient. Finest process of the stabilizing segment is going to be um, into the pressure of the wedge. Transverse processes um, of the segment supported here. Um, with the patient in the same position, now you're going to be flexing the spine so that you're getting that forward bending or flexion at the superior segment, which isn't stabilized. And so the biggest thing, um, you know, like you said, if the patient is a lot bigger than you, is the first thing is just the setup. Um, so, you know, I've tried this on a couple of the other residents, and obviously they're um, bigger than me. Um, so the first part is making sure the patient's close enough to you. Um, so. And then also, you know, just kind of working on different modifications. So obviously the way it's described is, you know, patient's hands here, using your hands to flex them up. Well, if they're very heavy, you're probably not going to be able to lift them up. So one of the modifications that I used was still having the patient in this position, grabbing under the shoulder blade, and you know maybe like rotating the patient. But then, you know, when you start doing that sort of thing, you still kind of compromise the placement of the wedge. Um, before for the distraction force, we were just pushing straight down. Um, for the flexion, um, you're going to be creating a different arc of motion through the spine. So um, if you can look at her arms through here, the distraction force went straight down. Um, the flexion move will be sort of a um, more of a curved um, arc of motion through uh, for our force. Still palpating that superior segment. So instead of pushing down, you're kind of pulling. Yeah, so you're actually, you know, you're promoting flexion, but you're still applying that kind of downward for force. So you're flexing and sort of pushing down and back. And then I'll show you guys. Distraction technique was just pushing straight down, whereas the flexion is more of a so it's more of a curved arc of motion. So I'm still flexing, but I'm also still applying a slight posterior. That was flexion.